What's up, everybody? It's Alan from Breaking and Entering. We are here with Jake Wesley Rogers uh, backstage at Lollapalooza. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. That's great. <laughs> I'm amazed that you are here today. You played three shows yesterday. Yes. <laughs> so you had your normal set, you had a bonus sessions yeah. set, and then a Lollapalooza after party at night. Yeah. How are you up and functional? That's the I, first question. Are you okay? <laughs> I am okay. I slept a long time. Okay. And I do feel like an old man today. <laughs> as far as my bones are, I have some scratches on my knees. I perform more on my knees than I expected. The spirit, okay. the spirit kind of took me around some interesting places. Just a lot of energy. A lot, lot of energy. Of had I had, if I had to do a fourth show, it would have been like bad. Yeah. Bad. I, I think anybody that's that's pushing it too far yeah. to do a fourth show yeah. in a day, but three, was, three is a lot. Three was good. Three is a I lot survived. for sure. Yeah. Um, you've got a bunch of music that you also announced that you're putting out as yes. well uh, at the Lollapalooza set. Yes. So you've got an EP coming out. Tell I us how do. about how did the record come about? Um, I've been I've been writing for the past couple of years, um, and this this one's kind of like the first part of it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's my favorite stuff I've ever made, and I'm so excited to be out. Um, how much of it was written within the last year? Because, I mean, obviously everybody had a long break from live yeah. shows and things like that. I mean, the first half was written before the pandemic, and the second half was written during the pandemic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So should we expect to hear two different sounds a little bit? Like, no, I think they're pretty things? cohesive. The storyline's pretty cohesive. Okay. Um, I kind of stayed true to the message of it all, but, you know, I went through a lot. We all went through a lot, but, you know, yeah. going through... A breakup and kind of huge changes during the pandemic on top of that definitely like took the album to a different place than I expected. But, For sure. Um, uh, yeah. And you've got some high praise as well uh, from none other than Elton John. Yeah. <laughs> you know, NBD, like no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, <laughs> so high praise from him. How did, what, like, what was your reaction when you heard that, you know, he had A, heard your music <laughs> and B, liked it? You know what I mean? Like, what was that feeling for you? I couldn't stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but my manager told me I just I think I just laughed for like seven minutes. <laughs> Does it feel surreal? Does any yeah, of like it's fully surreal. Yeah. Fully surreal. Okay. Um, and then talking I mean talking to him was just like I don't think that's hit me either. Yeah. Yeah. Um that'll probably hit me in like seven minutes. Okay. That's about, that's about it that's about average, yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you've been writing music for a long time, you grew up around music. Uh, what, how, when did you get your start? When did you really think, okay, I'm gonna pursue this like full time, like for sure? Young, like 13 or 14. Okay. Kind of when I like really started writing and playing and doing this path. So it's been about 10 years. Yeah. I've uh, been building. And yeah. It takes a long time. It's a long, it's a long journey, and it's for not, sure. It's not over. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Does it feel like? kind of surreal too to be playing here to be playing Lollapalooza yeah it's huge I mean because you grew up in the Midwest right totally. I have to zoom out and <laughs> think about like you know 16 year old me yeah what they would think of this happening right now and it's really special yeah um you, you grew up in the Midwest uh smaller town I mean Kansas City right I was born in Kansas City grew up in Springfield right? okay so does it feel like what do you think you know, you're dealing with a lot of people that are industry people now on the on the east and west coast and things like that. What do you feel about like Midwest independent music? Like, do you feel like it gets forgotten at all? You know. I mean, I always had the feeling that like I would have to leave if I were to do this, and I did leave. So yeah. I think that is, I guess, part of it. At least part of my journey. You know, I went to Nashville when I was 18. Yeah. About to go to LA, so. And I I don't feel like you now you really don't have to be anywhere. I mean, I think the last year has kind of said that. Yeah. Anywhere and put yeah. online. Um, but I think there is a benefit of being in a place where creative people are. There's pros and cons. Yeah. To both. Um, Absolutely. I think most importantly, just live where you feel like you can be creative. Because I lived in Nashville for five years, but every song on this EP wasn't written in Nashville. It was always written when I was traveling for work or for LA or for really? London or something. So. I just know I'm most creative when I'm like some, somewhere I don't live. So, do you ever? What is the process when you have that moment where you're like, "This is the song"? Like, does it get thrown into the notes app right away, or is it like I have to find a piano and play something? Yeah, it's always at a piano, and I always have my journal. Okay, so pretty analog in that way. 
Yeah, you're able to <laughs> you're able to run over and make yeah. that happen. I mean, if it's happening, it's if I'm if I'm on the highway or something, I'll <laughs> well, yes. pull over and drop something down. Drop something down. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Uh, well, you've got the EP coming out, and you've got some big things. What do you? What else is on the horizon for you for the rest of this year? I'm playing uh, Bonnaroo okay. in September, and then I'm doing some touring this fall. I'm playing New York, and Nashville, and LA. Wow, yeah. very, very big things, yeah, exciting yeah. things. If they want to get in touch with you, if they want to go ahead and follow you on social media, where's the best place to go do that? I can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Jake Wesley Rogers. Perfect. YouTube, all that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jake, thank you so much thank for taking so the much. time to sit down and talk with us. And uh, stay tuned because we have plenty more coverage of Lollapalooza 2021. Bye.